Today we're inside of our warehouse, that's why it's a little bit noisy. We're inside of our washroom, because today I want to show you guys how to properly maintain all of your microfiber goods. So to begin, what you want to do is separate all of your microfiber goods, including your wash mitts, your towels, uh, and also your applicators. You want to make sure that you're not washing them all together. The reason for this is you want to prevent cross-contamination that can happen between your exterior towels and your interior towels. If you get wax on your glass towels or on your interior towels, you can cause streaking or staining, so you want to separate all those towels. That's why they're color-coordinated. Also, you want to separate your applicators because there's waxes, there's polishes, there's dressings that you wouldn't want to get on your towels. So wash applicators separately, wash your color-coordinated towel separately, but you can also wash your wash mitts with any kind of color towel. Now you want to use one cap full for about 50 to 60 percent of a load, so that's going to clean all the towels thoroughly, but you're also not going to be throwing off the weight of the machine, you're not going to be hurting anything or you know, possibly damaging your own personal washing machine. Use hot water to help lift and uh, remove any of the dirt that's stuck in the fiber of the microfiber towel because if you're unfamiliar with what a microfiber does, it basically traps all kinds of dirt contamination and the only way to release it is by using hot water. So you need to wash it with really hot water, kind of really loosen it up so that you can clean it thoroughly. Now before you throw the towels into the cycle, you want to make sure that you've removed the tags from the towel, which is a good practice so that you're not one scratching the surface of the vehicle, but also you're not you know, creating a kind of lint or tearing the towel off in the washing machine where it can spread throughout the towels because once they're clean, they're going to start clinging to each other or clinging to any kind of contamination. Especially when they get dry, that's when they're going to collect all the kind of lint or dirt. So it's always good to inspect them before and after you wash them just so you're not dragging dirt and scratching your vehicle. And also this is a great time to make sure that your towels are always ready to go. When you're drying them, you want to dry it on low heat so that the polyester won't burn. And if you're unfamiliar with polyester or what the blend of the microfiber towels are, it's a 70% polyester while 30% polyamide. This is what basically does the scrubbing, that's your polyester. While on the other hand, the polyamide is what's absorbing any kind of water or liquid, and uh, that's what you get perfect drying towel for. Now the last step is to fold the towels and store them properly so they're always ready to use. What I like to do is I'll inspect them as I'm folding them to be sure that there's no sticks or paper or lint that would potentially harm any kind of paint or streak on glass. As I mentioned earlier, you want to use microfiber wash. The reason for this is because this is going to be the most delicate and the most thorough washing for your microfiber goods. For a small load, you want to use about one ounce, which is one to four capfuls. And then on a larger load, you want to use two ounces, which can be eight to 10 capfuls. This is going to help you release any of the dirt that's stuck in the fibers. And it's going to revive that feel so it's always ready to go. It's always gonna be soft and it won't scratch the surface. You can also use it by hand in a bucket using warm water, scrub it against a dirt trap, and this is going to help you release it if you don't have access to a washing machine. Microfiber wash extends the life of your microfiber while leaving behind no residue. Remove wax, polish, dirt, grease, and stains while leaving the microfiber goods with a fresh scent.